This is a Rainbow Workbook lesson for English First Additional Language, Grade 3, Term 4, Lesson 39. In this last lesson for Grade 3 of Term 4, the topic of focus is on words and sounds and completing a certificate. Sing along. Hello, children. It's time to sing along. Let's learn some new words and actions to the fabulous song, Teacher, Teacher. Wow, what a lovely song. The song tells your teacher just how much you have enjoyed learning this year. I am sure you have made her very happy. Let's sing it again. Word play. Hello everyone. Today we're going to revise the ch words. Say, the chicken hatched an egg. The chicken hatched an egg. You've said these sounds before. I'm just checking if you can hear which word in that sentence has the ch sound. Let's say that sentence again. The chicken hatched an egg. The chicken Hatched an egg. Well said. Now tell me which word has the ch sound. Hatched. Well done. Of course, the word is hatched. Here's the next sentence. Listen. The latch for the door was broken. Tell me which word has the ch sound. Latch. That was very clear. Latch. Try this long sentence. I have an itch because when I went to fetch the water, I scratched my knee. I will say that sentence again and this time I will say each word slowly and clearly. I have an itch because when I went to fetch the water, I scratched my knee. Tell me which words have the ch sound. Itch, fetch. Scratched. Well done! Itch, fetch, scratched. The words are correct. Excellent! I just could not catch you out. You have remembered the work we did. Sentence play. Hello everyone! Today we're going to ask questions. If I give you a statement that requires you to ask permission, then you must start the question with the words, May I? For example, I say, You are allowed to visit Nomsa. You then will ask, May I visit Nomsa? When I provide you with a statement that tells you what someone is or is not able to do, then you will start the question with, Can. For example, I say, Jabu is able to pick up the table. You then will ask, Can Jabu pick up the table? Let's do one together. I say, You are allowed to leave the table. You say, May I leave the table? May I leave the table? That's right. Listen to the next sentence. Anne sings in the choir. You say, can Anne sing in the choir? Can Anne sing in the choir? That's right. Listen to the next sentence. 
You are allowed to run in the park. You say, May I run in the park? Good work. May I run in the park? Listen. Sam speaks Afrikaans. You say, Can Sam speak Afrikaans? Can Sam speak Afrikaans? He sure can. Listen. You are allowed to ask me questions if you do not understand. May we ask you questions if we do not understand? May we ask you questions if we do not understand? Of course you can ask me questions. Super work, everyone! Sound play. Listen for the word that begins with the ch sound. You will hear four words. One word does not have the ch sound. You need to repeat the words with the sound. Ready? I say match, crutch, bridge, botch. You say match, crutch, botch. Match, crutch, botch. Perfect! You've got the sound just right. This time, let's try a sentence. Say, My dad went to fetch a car with a broken clutch. Which word in that sentence has the ch sound? Fetch and clutch. Now listen. He fell into a ditch and was covered in pitch black coal. Which words in that sentence have the ch sound? Ditch and pitch. That's right. Ditch and pitch. Let's try one more sentence. After his fall, the doctor applied patches and stitches to his wounds. Ready? Which words in that sentence have the ch sound? Patches and stitches. Great stuff! Patches and stitches. Let's say all three sentences together. Ready? Say, My dad went to fetch a car with a broken clutch. He fell into a ditch and was covered in pitch black coal. After his fall, the doctor applied patches and stitches to his wounds. My dad went to fetch a car with a broken clutch. He fell into a ditch and was covered in pitch black coal. After his fall, the doctor applied patches and stitches to his wounds. Well done, children. That was splendid. You can be so proud. Playtime. Let's play a game called Pitch Perfect. This is a great game to check how well you listen. Listen carefully to the sentences and shout out the word that has the ch sound. When you shout out the sound, you must also say the phrase, It's pitch perfect. If you don't say the word and phrase straight away, then you are out of the game and you will have to sit down. If you answer correctly, you remain standing. I hope you have fun playing. Let's all stand up to play our game, Pitch Perfect. Are you ready? I will say, I looked at my watch and it was time for lunch. You shout out, watch, and then say, it's pitch perfect. Listen and repeat. I looked at my watch and it was time for lunch. Watch, it's pitch perfect. Great, you got that one right. Stay standing and listen to the next sentence. The witch flew north on her broom. Which, it's pitch perfect. Super! Children who did not get that right must sit down. Sorry, but you are out of the game. Let's try another one. I could not find a single scratch on my bicycle after the accident. Scratch, it's pitch perfect. Super! That went off without a hitch. Can you guess the next one? Listen carefully. I lit a match in the kitchen. Match, 
kitchen. It's pitch perfect. That was brilliant. I tricked you by adding an extra ch word. Those clever children who heard match and kitchen remained standing. The other children must sit down. Wow, you are pitch perfect. Wasn't that fun, children? Have fun making up pitch perfect sentences with your friends.